you in uh, the contraseña or password, you are going to use your um, ID number, la cédula, ID number, okay? In this moment, it's not available for everyone. I think the only person who has uh, the platform ready is um, is is, is uh, John Castro, right? But for the others, I think it will be ready by Monday. So, what's the idea with this platform? To practice with the topics we do in the class, okay? So, I'm going to show you what a student um, how the student will see the content of this platform, okay? So usually you have this website like this, once you log in, and on the left side, in la parte izquierda, on the left side, oh God, you will find the topics, okay? Two ways to access, access the topics, so here, in this case, all right, here, uh, clicking on continue or content, or on the left side, okay? So, guys, for example, we have the content from the first week, which is tra sorry, transportation. So what's the idea? Usually you have a lesson. So what you do with the lesson is you open that, you open the link, you click on the link, and uh, once you finish there, oh, God. I, you know what? I'm going to watch it as a as a teacher because I think it's not gonna be it's not gonna work like that. So when you go to transportation, guys, you click on the lesson, okay? And uh, here in your case, in my case, it says previsualizar. Probably in your cases, it's going to check, click on iniciar cuestionario. Unfortunately, it's in Spanish, but and you will see um here a video, okay? Based on the video, you will answer these questions. When you finish, you click on a send or enviar. OK. That would be for the first one. Then, guys, remember, this is only from the first uh, class that we checked. Um, that we checked the transportation, OK? But uh, what you have to do is to go uh, lesson by lesson, checking what you have to do. So from the first one, which is transportation, we have the lesson, which is the activity with the video. We have a reading activity, okay, a reading activity. And with that activity, guys, again, you say uh, previsualizar in your case. Iniciar el cuestionario or start. And you will find uh, a reading here. Based on the reading, you answer the question. Okay? So let's suppose that what places has your visited? So we can say he visited uh, Madrid, uh, Paris, etc. Okay? When you finish that activity, you click on Enviar Cuestionario. Okay? Again. And that's the reading part. Right? So just for one week, okay? Here there's another reading. Usually the lessons, these are the lessons. These on the left side are the lessons. We have two reading activities, two writing activities. I guess we are going to leave only one and two listening activities, okay? And at the end, there is a transport, it's a quiz. In every lesson, there is a quiz. So there is a lesson. There are reading, writing, and listening activities, and there is a quiz. The lesson, reading, writing, and listening can be repeated as many times as you want. The quiz is only allowed two times. You can try the quiz twice uh, or no more than two times, okay? So that happens with every lesson. So for example, in our own, uh, yeah, during our first week, we check transportation. So that's the transportation vocabulary lesson. Last week, we checked verb to be, present continuous, present simple. So we have, again, the lesson where you will see a video, two reading activities, two writing activities, two listening activities, and a quiz. Okay? For example, this week, we have questions with how. Remember, here on the left side, we always find the information about the lessons. This week, we check questions with how. So, 
We have the lesson, which usually have a video. Remember, the lesson uh, thing has a video, okay? So you check the video, and after checking the video, after checking the video, okay, after checking the video, you will have some questions. So. What's your mission to complete the questions here? For example, this one is easy. I know that the answer is how much. OK, oh, I mean, tiras. No, sorry, this is not how much. This is how often. How often do you eat fast food? When you finish the lesson, you click on send um, the questionnaire or send the activity. OK, then you have reading activities. Remember, you can only the only thing you have to do is to click on the activity. Um, then you click on previsualizar for my case, but for you it's going to be only with Iniciar Cuestionario or Start. Okay. Then you will have a reading activity there. And based on that activity, you answer the question. Okay. So by now, guys, uh, I am not going to ask you to do all the eight lessons. The only thing you will have to do uh, once we are ready with your names, because I don't know what's the we are having like a problem with the platform. But um, when we do that, because I, I, I only happen to have uh, John Castro in the users, I don't know why. So I got to check what was the problem. And uh, the mission by now is to start at least with the topic for this week, which is questions with how. OK. So you will do the activities in your questions with how for this week, and you can start doing uh, some activities of the transportation week and some others of the present continuous and present simple activity. So I remind you things. Number one, number one, remember to log in. I will give you your username is your email address. Your email address is your username. In my case, my e email address is diana.cruz. Z, C, sorry, at set call subsidio. That's my, my username, that edu.co. And my uh, password, it's my ID number, cedula ciudadanía. So we complete that there and we click on uh, iniciar sesión. For you guys, the first picture you're going to have here. I try to start sesión, but it's not possible. Yes, because remember, Sandra Ceron, I told you that in this moment there is a problem with the list of students. Remember, I told you the only person that I don't know why it's in the list is, is uh, John Castro, Sandra. So in this moment, it's not ready for the students. Do you understand my point, Sandra? Yeah. Yeah. So in this moment, it's not ready for the students. I don't know why. It should be ready, but there must be a problem with the person who uploaded the information. Um, Sandra Santa Maria, me escuchas? Sí. Ah, all right. And so, guys, por ahora les estoy mostrando cómo funciona para que cuando el lunes o el martes que ya tengan acceso puedan ingresar y ver cómo funciona, porque no sé por qué no están todos los estudiantes ahí. So, remember, you click on the course. On the left side, you have all of the information, all right? También aquí van a encontrar, uh, I'm going to upload guys the um, PowerPoint information and the videos from the classes, okay? The videos from the classes, I'm going to be here on Brightspace. So by now, uh, I don't know why they are, they, there is no access to, to all of the students, but remember uh, for this week, you will have to work on questions with how. And you can start working on the previous ones, okay? Transportation and present continuous and present simple. You don't have to do obligation with must and have to. No possibility with can, could, and may, might. No possibility with can, can, might. No zero conditional, no first conditional, okay? So far, you have to do at least questions with how, which is the topic for this week, okay? Remember, si intentan hacerlo ahorita, igual no les va a funcionar la página porque no están todos activos aún en, en Brightspace. Algo que sí me recomendaron que les dijera, hay unas personas que todavía no han enviado el recibo de pago, o es decir, la imagen del recibo de pago a, a Liliana. ¿ok? Entonces, sin, ese, sin esa información no pueden activarlos porque no podemos hacer el, ¿cómo se llama eso? La legalización de matrícula. 
Entonces, les recuerdo, para quienes no lo han enviado, pueden enviarlo a este número de WhatsApp. Ya se los digo, es 318-388-5664. Hay personas que no lo han enviado todavía, por favor, envíenselo hoy o el lunes para que puedan activarlos, porque hay algunos que no lo han enviado. Eh, Alguien me iba a preguntar algo. There was a question. What's the question? Yes, uh, Sandra. In my case, um, my course is a children. I don't know. A Maybe children? A problem. Sí, no, it's no adult. No. Why? I may, I, I send an email for Luz Daddy, but I cannot ask her. Es decir, que tú tienes activo es un curso para niños? Sí. <risa> eh, yo, a Luz Dari, pero ella no me ha contestado. Sí, me Luz Dari es como quién? Como la persona sí. que te. Una persona me ha escrito ahí, yo le mandé el precio de pago, pero yo le dije, por favor, en pago, pero no soy de costo de niños. Es no, de no, no, finanzas. Igual, Luz Dari es de es, finanzas, Diana. Pero igual tú estás es en mi curso, Sandra. No, no, no. Sandra Acero, no. no, no por, o tú, o al, te dije, no te, o sea, como si estuvieras registrando como a un sobrino o a un hijo tuyo. No sé por qué ahí me aparecen niños, entonces yo dije, no. No, no, no. ¿En dónde te aparecen niños? En el correo que me enviaron ellos para el recibo del pago. No. Eh, ¿Me lo puedes enviar a mí? Sí. ¿Me lo envías al correo y yo miro? Y le confirmo a Liliana. Ok, guys. So, bueno, um, well, don't worry, no se preocupen si no entendieron mucho, sobre todo las personas nuevas. Yo les voy a enviar un video que tengo del trimestre pasado, donde pueden ver cómo funciona Brightspace. Ok. Por ahora no pueden intentar, o sea, en este momento la única persona que tiene acceso es John Castro, porque como John es tan juicioso con la plataforma, entonces por eso se lo activaron al primero. Of course, of course. <ríe> entonces... Por eso se lo tiene activo él. Pero los demás, entonces, yo creo, estoy casi segura que el lunes, máximo el martes, ya tienen todos acceso. No sé por qué no estuvo listo hoy. Pero para que lo tengan en cuenta, recuerden que su usuario es su correo electrónico, el que tienen registrado con la SED, que creo que para todos es el mismo al que yo les envío la, la información. Y su contraseña es la cédula de ciudadanía. Entonces, una vez vea que todos están ahí, les mando el link de acceso para que empiecen a hacerlo. Recuerden que al menos esta semana... Una que sí van a tener que hacer es la de Questions with How, porque esa fue la que vimos. Entiendo que las de las dos semanas anteriores hay que hacerlas, pero pues no los puedo exigir porque pues no estaba lista. Entonces, para que la vayan adelantando, le echen un ojito. Pero al menos desde esta semana sí vamos a exigir la de Questions with How. Mi sugerencia con la plataforma es para que no se les acumulen las cosas, traten de hacer al menos una actividad por día. ¿Ok? Eh, yo creo que aquí hay dos actividades de writing, pero yo creo que solo les voy a dejar una activa. ¿Ok? Para que no se angustien. No voy a empezar que, mejor dicho, aquí nos vamos a hacer todo esto, pero pues no son difíciles, no son actividades difíciles. Eh, igual las voy a revisar. Si ustedes les llegan a encontrar algún error, de pronto ustedes dicen, no, esto no entiendo por qué está mal, si para mí está bien, me escriben, porque pues ustedes saben que estas plataformas las hacemos los humanos y los humanos cometemos errores. Entonces, a veces, a veces quedan cositas por ahí y pues a veces los estudiantes no dicen nada de pronto por pena o se les olvida, se les pasa. Entonces, me dicen cuando encuentren un error, con eso lo corregimos no solo para ustedes, sino pues para las personas que utilicen también la plataforma. ¿Ok? Me cuenta. I don't know if you have any questions up to this moment. Sé que es difícil pues decirles que si tienen preguntas sin poderla ver, a ver cómo funciona, pero hasta ahí tienen alguna pregunta. Eh, Sandra Diana, Santa María. Sí, Diana, quería preguntarte si aún vas a continuar enviando por uh, email la clase que dictas. Es decir, la información y demás. YouTube. Sí, todo lo que vemos, como lo sí, has yo creo que sí. Al menos esta semana sí, pues porque todavía no tenemos plataforma. Todos, ¿no? O sea, cuando, cuando empiece a funcionar la plataforma, ya no mandas. Sí, yo creo que se quedará solo en Brightspace. Ok. Ok, pero también es importante que lean, porque es que ustedes a veces no leen lo que yo les envío. Miren que esta mañana me di cuenta, porque... Yo les envié en el correo la semana pasada y en la invitación a la clase y decía que el link servía hasta la final del mes. Entonces hay que, hay que leer esas cosas porque a veces, yo entiendo que pues obviamente ustedes están esperando un link para entrar a la clase, pero precisamente para ahorrarles como el estrés de, ay, me cogió la última hora y no alcancé a escribir que dónde está el link. Para eso el, este link de la clase sirve hasta el 27 de marzo para todos, ¿ok? A todos les sirve el link hasta el 27 de marzo. Y eh, yo había visto que alguien más había levantado la mano. Someone else raised uh, his her hand. 
No. Cuando ya esté confirmado que, creo que sí. Cuando ya esté confirmado que todos están ahí, les voy a escribir un correo, no para que tengan que hacer ya la actividad, pero para que sí me confirmen si sí si pueden entrar o no, ¿ok? Porque si llega a quedar algún dato mal o algo así, entonces yo puedo revisar qué es lo que está pasando y por qué quedó mal, ¿ok? Puede ser que el lunes yo creería que ya va a estar listo, porque la verdad, pues la instrucción que teníamos era que ya hoy estaba, pero no sé qué pasó. Como les digo, la única persona que tengo aquí en lista es a John Castro, porque a él le encanta hacer la plataforma, entonces a él se la activaron de primeras. Es good for a platform. <ríe> porque a él, él es el más disciplinado con la plataforma, entonces a él se la activaron de primeritas, vean. ¿Sí ven? Ya, John, entonces John ya no tiene excusa, él ya puede empezar a trabajar desde hoy. Ok, John. Ok, no te preocupes. Sí, sí, no, I don't worry. <ríe> ok. And that's it. Eso por un lado. Okay, guys. On the other hand, por otro lado, on the other hand, guys, we have to make a discussion about the final project. For those um, previous students, remember every class has a final project um, uh, activity, okay, which is like the 50% of the final class. For this um, module, guys, since we are We are talking about questions with how, present simple and present continuous. We are going to check a first and zero conditional. My proposal, guys, my proposal for this uh, module, it's to talk about or to explain. Let me show you uh, here with pictures, maybe if you can understand. So guys, my proposal for this, this um, for this project, for the final project, uh, this this module, it's to explain how uh, how to play a game, okay? How to oh god, I took it. Yeah, the proposal for this final project, guys, it's to explain how how to play a game. Okay, so what do I mean by game? No soccer, no basketball, no uh, tennis, no. A game like a board game, like a board game, for example, okay? Something different to soccer, basketball, okay? Or oh, unless you have something very, um, very original, very um, re resourceful, we can take it, okay? So, in that activity, what's the thing? Since we are more than 20 students, I think making presentations will not work because it will take a lot of time. So, I guess what we are going to do, as we did in the previous classes, it's to make a video. Okay. In this video, you will include how does the game work? Okay. What are the rules? And uh, yeah, that would be it. How does the game work? What are the rules? And if possible, include a little story. A little story. So why this, um, well, sorry, no, a little story, a little history from this uh, game. Why? Why are we using these questions with the video? Because first, when we talk about the game and how it works, We can use present simple, which is something we have to reinforce a lot in this class. With the rules, we are going to use a lot of uh, modal verbs, which is a topic that we have to start next week. Must, can, could, have to, etc. We have to use the rules there with the, with the modal verbs. And because we can also use the conditional, like if you move the blah, 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 This thing will happen, like talking about condition and consequences, condition and consequences. And a little history, because I think we have to check the pronunciation of simple past. Not a lot, okay? Let's say the video has to be at least, at least four minutes long, at least, okay? And the top, the top, the top uh, eight minutes, the top from four to eight minutes long, all right? 
Do you want to see an example of what I mean? Or it's okay for everybody what I mean? Diana, this is the final project or the or project for the next class? No, no, no. The final, final project for March the 27th. This is for March the 27th. OK, Sandra? Yes. Guys, do you have any question of this topic? Rocio Romero, go on. What's your question? Uh, teach. Um... Voy a decirte en español, vamos a tener de pronto alguna asesoría si necesitamos como un espacio para que tú nos ayudes como a... a... Yes, yes, yes. Actually, the idea, eh, Rocío, at least with me, it's to eh, give some information every week. So, let's suppose for the next class, for the next class, the idea is to uh, check what game you want to, to present, okay? For the next, for so in two weeks, we are going to check the information. Okay, what information are you going to include? For the third week, so in three weeks, we're going to check the pronunciation of that information. Okay, it's not like uh, this is the topic and you will do whatever you can. No, it's uh, I will I will assess what you are doing. I will lead you to what we uh, want to to present. Yeah, Rosio, is that your question or not really? No, I, this is good. Okay, okay. good. So, okay. guys, for example, I, I, um, I, 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 okay, guys, I don't know if you have ever, but let me check. If you have ever heard this word petank, has a, any of you listened to the word petank? Yes. Maybe. Yeah, who, Carlos Mario? What is that, Carlos? Carlos is an expert on this topic. Hey, hey. <laughs> no, panic. What, what, what is it, Carlos? Yeah. What, what do you know about the word petan? What is that? What is that? Is a, is a play. Uh, it's a game. It's a game. It's a game for the, for the person, uh, the old person. <laughs> mm, old people. Okay, it's true. For the old, for the old people, um, you have to. To, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you have a ball. Mm -hmm, a ball. Uh, a ball. Uh, you need mm -hmm. the, you need the, the meat. Um, mm, <laughs> I don't know. The jack. The jack. Yes, I'm going to show you. So, guys, very good, Carlos. No. Guys, in France, in a uh, France culture. There is a game called Petang, okay? It's a game. And uh, here there is a video about that game. So what's the idea of this video? I'm, I'm only going to show you some parts so that you have an idea of what your final project should be, okay? And um, let me check the ball here. This six balls. You Guys, can you listen to that? No. This, no. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to show you uh, what the word petank is or what the thing petank is. And then you we discuss what it is. There we go. Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to play petank. Uh, petank is a great game that you can play with all your friends or even strangers at parties and other occasions. So let's start with the balls that you use to play the game. This wooden ball is called the jack or cochone. It's uh, the goal to get close to the jack. And these six balls you can see here are the ones you throw. These are called bulls. And these are the ones that you throw to get close to the jack to win. Step one is to choose your bulls. You can see there are two different types of bulls. There are double striped ones and single striped ones. So choose which one you'd like. Step two is to toss a coin to see which one gets to go first and also throw the jack. Step uh, step three is to shake hands. Always shake hands with your opponent before starting the game. Step four is draw a circle that's about 70 centimeters in diameter. This is where you will stand when you throw your bulls during the game. Step five is the dress code. Remember to always dress appropriate 
when playing the game. And what is appropriate, you may ask? It's pretty much anything you feel like, because Petonk is a game for anyone and everyone. So dress however you like. Step 6 is game on. Start with the first throw. It's 3 throws during one round of the game. The one who won the toy cast gets to throw first and he throws the jack first. Uh, and when he's thrown the jack, he gets to throw his first bull and tries to get as close to the jack as possible. As you can see here, it was a pretty great throw. He's kind of close to the jack. Then they alternate and the second person gets to throw their bull and tries to get even closer to the jack than the first person did. As you can see here, she didn't get closer, which means that Jake is still the closest one to the jack, and he, that means he gets to go first during the second throw as well. So the second throw, he throws his first bull again, and as you see, he got closer to jack. Then Anna gets to throw, and she, look here, whoa, she got even closer to the jack than Jake is, which means that she gets to throw first during the third and last throw of the round. So, uh, since she was the closest one now, she gets to throw her last bull first. That was not a great throw, but she's still the closest one to the jack. So if Jake wants to get the points, he has to remove Anna's bull that's closest to jack, or get even closer than she is. And as you see here, he did fail. He only removed one of Anna's bulls, and it was not the one that was closest. So Anna's still the closest one to the jack, which means that she won this round and she gets one point. The one who gets to 13 points first is the winner. If you get two bulls closest to the jack during one round, you get two points, and if you get three bulls closest, you get three points. Yes. And when one of you have won and got all the way to 13 points, it's the last step of the game, which is to be polite. Remember to always shake hands after a game with your opponent. Here's some pro tips on learning how to throw. Uh, these are some invalid ways of throwing. The shot put is not allowed. It's a mature way of throwing and it's not a good way and you're breaking the rules. Don't do that. The softball is also not allowed. And as you can see here, you will probably end up off the course anyways. So don't do that. It's a bad way of throwing. The bowling is a way, a way of throwing where you actually roll the ball on the course but it's not allowed either so don't do that this here is the correct way of throwing as you can see you have to bend the knees and sway your arm back and forth in more times and then when you feel ready you release the ball so that's the correct way now you know how to play petong so make friends have fun and remember, let you don't be too stiff when you play petonk. Sandra, can you please turn off your microphone? What? And always shake hands a lot. With me. You can never be too polite. When okay, guys, what do you think about the video? Easy or difficult to understand? Lida, go on, Lida. Um, easy for the pictures <laughs> okay good, good. you I see that's the idea of the video to be very visual okay i think right. my my brother uh, played played uh, the the game like this but uh -huh. with, with um, coins or canicas uh -huh. uh -huh. okay okay good good like, yeah it, we, we have Similar versions in Colombia, don't you yeah. think? Yeah, yeah. I think. Okay. What about guys? Uh, the game. So, 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 do you understand my idea for the final project? Is it clear or not really? Yes, teacher, is clear. Yeah? yeah. So, what's the idea? As you see in the video, they explain the rules, things that are okay, things that are not okay, and is if you see here, this video is five minutes long. Okay. So your mission for the next week, guys, I'm going to open a Google document or a Google sheet. What's your mission to write the name of the game you would like to show to your partners? OK, 
Something important, guys, I, I, I think it's not, um, the idea is not to you. Well, okay, I don't know. We can, well, I, uh, I would like you to choose things that are not so common. For example, soccer now. Soccer, well, everybody, oh, most of us understand how it works. Maybe something first that you like to play a lot and that you can talk about. And as I told you before, please remember the objective of this activity. OK, it's to practice with uh, first to explain how it works. All right. As they explain petank, they explain how the game works to explain some of the rules. OK, and if possible, show a little uh, part of the history in order to practice the press, the past tense. OK, and the pronunciation. What if what if there is no history? If there is no history, guys, well, use your creativity. Invent a history. In the history, you don't have to spend the five minutes. Spend one or two minutes talking about the history. OK, I don't know if you guys have any questions or if you really understand what the idea of this final project is. The, the final project is group or individual? I guess it's going to be individual, Sandra. Or maybe what we can try, Sandra, if, if we, um, for example, if there is a chance and probably two people want to talk about the same topic, it's fine. But by my question is, is it possible for you guys to work in groups in this moment? Because I don't want to be like a problem, like uh, the teacher is asking us to to meet and that's not OK. And I, I don't want that. I mean, if, if you can uh, video call your partners, it's fine. But if if you can't, so I think it's up to you. For example, you, Sandra Seron, would you would you be uh, available to work in group? Or it's for or for you, it's better to work alone. I'm not sure. It depends. No? I agree. Um, I really I don't know my make. I I'm sorry. Como es que digo class classes classes yeah, class mm -hmm. class 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 yeah. But what we can do, Sandra, if you want, it's we can uh, like open a list. And everybody writes what uh, they would like to work with. If there are, for example, two people who want to talk about chess, so maybe these two people can work together. Okay, guys. It's okay. Yeah. Is uh, is that okay. clear to everybody? I prefer individual. If I ah, want, yes, yes, just no, John, the, the I, I don't final. mean that you have to work in groups. I know right now it's difficult. I am only suggesting, I, I don't mean that you have to work in groups. And eso quiero ser clara, yo no estoy sugiriendo que tienen que trabajar en grupos ni nada de eso, right? It's, if you prefer to work individually, it's fine. For example, it's possible for Nico and Andrea to work together, okay? Because they live in the same house. But if Nico and Andrea don't want to work together, it's fine, okay? That's my point. But if, if yeah, there yeah. is a chance, we can take advantage of it. Si llegase a pasar que hay alguna persona con, con otro compañero que tienen la misma idea y quieren trabajar el mismo juego, si es posible hacerlo a través de la virtualidad, sí. Pero no quiere decir que se tienen que reunir ni nada de eso. All right? En eso sí hay que ser claros porque no, no es la idea. ¿Ok? ¿Ya, yeah, guys? ¿Hello? Ok. Hey, teacher. OK, so for the next week, your first mission for the final project is to decide what project, what game you would like to uh, show your partners. OK, OK. OK, teacher. All right. So for example, I showed okay, you okay. here the petank. Obviously, you cannot use petank anymore. Hey, <laughs> but uh, guys, or maybe if you have a traditional game, something that you know, but other part of the population in Bogota or in Colombia don't know, 
you can use it as of the final project too because it's an excuse to practice English. So just keep in mind the objective of this activity is to tell everybody how the game works because we can use present simple there. Tell the rules because as we will see from the next class on, we can use the modal verbs like must, have, can, could, etc. And to talk a little bit about history. OK, about history of the game. Uh, if you don't have any history about the game, OK, use your creativity. I'm not going to judge if it's true or not, but it, the idea is to practice with uh, past tense and it doesn't have to be long. It's not five minutes talking about the um, the rules, uh, the rules or the history or how does the game work. It's a complement of everything as we did in the video. OK, OK. So for the next class, the first piece of homework, guy, guys, is to check uh, what is uh, the game you would like to talk about. Okie dokie, that's the first one. I am going to open a document uh, on Google Sheets where you can uh, edit what you're going to write and you can type that kind of game you would like to talk about, okay? So you can start thinking how you would like to record your video and whatever here in this video they are live it's an MBO doing the activity but it does not mean that you have to do it that way okay this is only a proposal it's only a proposal okay okay so guys that's on the first part on the second part uh, for the next week we are going to guys um i am going to uh, share with you some links some links let me show you some links, some links uh, with um, information. OK, information. Let me show you an interesting one. For example, information about uh, the human body. OK, so what is your mission for the next week? That's part that is your homework from this information, guys, from this uh, presentation about look, the good news is that is from National Geographic. OK. For example, guys, here we have this information. It says your eyes produce a teaspoon of tears every hour. OK, do you guys have any questions about the vocabulary there? Is the information clear there? I don't know teaspoon or tear. teaspoon. Good tears and teaspoon. Good. So teaspoon, it's a measure. OK, it's a unit of measure and is this. This is a teaspoon. Let me show you a picture. There you go. This is a teaspoon. Right, Tatiana? OK. Yeah, and this is a tear. A tear. This thing here. This is a tear. Right? OK. Right, so in the information we have, your eyes produce a teaspoon of tears every hour. Right? Right. So guys, right. if if we use, sorry, do you have another question? No? Guys, if you if we used questions with how, what possibilities could we um, could we have to create a question using how and this information? Can you think of possibilities? Yes. For example, yes, how? Uh, let's do it, Lida first. Lida, what's your possibility? And then Carlos. How much? How mm -hmm. much uh, tears produce your eyes? Uh, yes, also, but no, how how? <laughs> That would be how many? How many? How many? OK. How many tears? Because they are countable. How many tears? Okay. How many tears do uh, your eyes? OK. Go on, go on. Lia. How many tears? How many tears do your eyes produce? That's right. That's one possibility. How many tears do your eyes produce? So how many tears do your eyes produce, eh, Lida? Um, my eyes, pro uh, my eyes produce a uh, 
teaspoon. Ah, a teaspoon. One, the tray. Yeah, yep. the tray. Okay. That's good. A teaspoon every hour, right? Every hour. Every hour. Okay. Yes. Okay. Carlos Mario has another possibility, right, Carlos? Mm, yes, I think. How long? Um, how long? Uh, do you produce the tears? How long? Do, and what would be the answer? Uh, I produce the tears every every hour. So how often, uh, Carlos? How, how often? Long? How often it's better? Okay. How often do you produce tears? And um, well, how often do you produce a teaspoon of tears? Right? A okay. teaspoon. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So and guys, what about this one? No, I don't like this one. Look, this is great. Check this information on the screen. Please let me know if you understand the, the information there. Remember the pronunciation is length. The length of your arms stretched, no stretched, stretched, stretched out is about equal to your height. The length of your arms stretched out is about equal to your height. How far? How? Uh -huh, yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah. But what is the comparison there? What is the comparison there, Lida? Uh, the... Oh. <laughs> the arms between... Uh -huh. Wait. The arms... The lines of your arms. The, the arms and the um, height. And they, tall, exactly. The tall, yeah, or the height. The uh, height, and the height. Know, no height, but the height. 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 Mm -hmm. That's true. And so, how far do. No. But well, remember, the, far is for distances, right? Like, how far yeah. is Bogota from Cartagena? So, what would be the correct question here? Can anybody think of a question for for your partners? How tall? How tall what? How tall what? Uh, Lee, How uh, tall? Sandra. Sandra. How tall? How tall are you? Mm, okay, well, yes. And what would be the answer if we say uh, using this information from the screen? How tall are you? So I'm the same. Uh, my toe is the same as the length of my arms stretched. Good, Sandra. Excellent, excellent. All right, stretched out. Okay. There is another <laughs> possible question. There is another Diana, possible question. Yes, Diana, Sandra. It's a question. Uh, the the persons in the figure has their fingers. Yes, the fingers. Uh, uh like uh, pointing. Pointing. All to the, the fingers. No, I guess only one. Probably the, the longest one. The corazón? No, I don't, I, I hope no. Espero que no. <laughs> I hope no, it's the, because, the because it's no the longest, the longest. Yeah, yeah, true, but I hope no. Oh, but the same you know, guys, I, I made the experiment and it's true. Hey. All right. So guys, what's, why am I showing you this? For the next class, I am going to share with you different presentations like this and uh, different presentations and different people. So not the 22 students, the 22 students won't have the same presentation, okay? So you will have different presentations. What's the idea? To uh, create questions out of the presentations, okay? Let's see, for example, this is the one I was using, but there, are, there will be others. So your mission is to create questions out of those out of those uh, presentations, but something important, questions with how, questions with how, how far, how tall, how deep, how fast, blah, blah, blah. Uh, is that instruction clear or not really? Yes, clear. Yeah, no, so not, remember, not, not really, not okay, really. Okay, I'm going to repeat. I am going to share with you some links with information like this, okay? Information like this, like general knowledge, information. Your mission is to create uh, questions using how with that information. Okay, 
So in this case, we were practicing with this one, but I have other, other links. For example, there is one link about uh, motion. There is one link about countries. This information is about general knowledge, general uh, information. So for example, in the, in the first link, I'm going to play John Castro, Gerardo, Sandra, Sandra Hernandez, and Sandra Santa Maria. You four guys individually are going to open that link and try to see if it's possible to create two or three questions using how about that information. And that is going to be like a quiz for your partners. You are going to create quizzes for your partners. Is, is that instruction much better or not really? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, Carlos, we have Carlos, to make the quick with our partners. Sorry, with Carlos. Partners. Ramiro, we have Ramiro, to make the quick with our partners. Pero Carlos también tiene, es que Carlos tenía la mano levantada. Ah, Carlos, go on. No, no, no. Uh, no, it's fine. Quiz. No, it's fine. Okay. It's okay. Ramiro. No, no, no. How do you say? Hi, the. Sorry. Is make a question. Uh, Ara, I made a question, but I have to make this question to my partners in the next class. Exactly. So you're going to take notes maybe on a PowerPoint a slide, something like that, Ramiro. OK, maybe oh, on okay, a paper, fine. document, something that you that we can share in the class. OK. Lida, what's your question? Yes. Um, we create, we will create the questions and answer and answer yes. or it's like a quiz for your partners, Lida. A quiz for your um, partners. Okay. Right. Okay. Remember yeah. the Kahoot. Yes. Like something like that for okay. your partners, using that information. Okay. So guys. So let's let's summarize. Number one, we're going to think about the final project game you want to talk about. Number two, you are going to uh, check the link. Each uh, I guess every five students, you will have a different link to think about questions for your partner. Maybe you can create like a, a slide, a PowerPoint slide with information, with the question and the answers. Obviously, you have to know the answer, but don't show the answer on the slide. OK, and finally, guys, uh, please remember, please remember that uh, if we can get access to Brightspace, I will ask you to join Brightspace and do the activities on Brightspace. Is that instruction clear as well? Brightspace is the platform. Recuerden que esta hora todavía no está activa, ¿ok? Hello. Can you hear me? Diana, there is a lot of impor information. Yes, I know. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm um, summarizing things. So number one, number one, let me show you here. You, you can send it right? Uh, yes, Sandra, I always send an email with the information. Ok, thank you. So number one, guys, we're going to select a game for the final project. OK. Number two, you are going to create a quiz question for your partners based partners based on the information. Based on the links sent by the teacher based on the links sent by the teacher. Number three, when you get ready and actually no, when you get ready, no, when the platform is ready to practice Brightspace, this, the lesson questions with how. Okie dokie. Hello. Yes. Okay. Yes, right. yeah. okay. There will be one more, but that is only to watch a video. Watch a video about pronunciation. Watch a video about pronunciation. OK, that is only watching, but please watch the video. It won't take too much time. It will take three minutes. 
Watch the video about pronunciation of one word, one sound. Okie dokie. Okay, teacher. Okay, guys. Okay, teacher. That's it for today. I don't know if you have any recommendations or comments about the class today. Was it easy, difficult? Was actually like boring? It was not that boring. We can practice something more than other things. What's your opinion? Before we finish, before we close. No opinions? You feel afraid well, of us speaking? <laughs> Sorry, Lida? Was good the uh, class teacher. Uh, I like um, practice the pronunciation. I like it hard and, and it's good. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, all right. Any other comments, any suggestions for the next class? Something that you consider it would be important to practice more uh, or to practice? Uh, teach more practice, more practice the words, the verbs, the pronunciation, it, it, it. Ah, okay, the ED endings? Yeah, uh, okay. I need my more practice, uh, uh, I like the class. Okay, good, good. All right. If you have like comments that you think are constructive to the class, maybe something that you consider it's like a negative and we shouldn't do that much, please let me know. No problem. I won't take it personal. It's fine. It, okay. It's fine. Um, uh, it, the, instruction, the, the instructions of homework um, Están un poco confusas para la próxima semana. All right, all right. I will try to develop more the idea in the email, okay? Thank you, Diana. No problem, no problem. I will make it uh, more clear for you guys. No problem. I understand that it's confusing. Okay, any other comments, guys, before you go? Uh, Diana, I think that no. the class is very dynamic. And... Uh, Excuse me? No, no, that's okay. By dynamic. Mm -hmm. Dynamic. Mm -hmm. uh, it, um, it has a lot of information. Uh, for example, I think that with ma, with ma, we must uh, reinforce mm -hmm. uh, um, the ED suffix. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think agree. It's it's uh it's not uh so it's not uh, um very clear oh very clear mm -hmm. and for example with the vowels uh i can't I understand okay i will look and, for example uh, uh, the pronunciation i think that mm -hmm. i have problems with or all we have problems with the pronunciation mm -hmm. with e d d and t okay um, good. i will look for an exercise to help you thank you thank all right you. Okay, guys, that is that is it for today. If you have extra comments and you feel like ashamed of making the comments in the call, it's okay. You can write an email or I will try to open again the Google form thing in order for you to practice and tell me your opinions, okay? Please take a rest. Enjoy the rest of the Saturday. Enjoy tomorrow, which, which is Sunday, and have a great week. See you next Saturday. Bye-bye. Thank you, Miss. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. Thank you, See you next bye -bye. class. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you. Have a good week.